this around. All right, that's the control arm. You see the points we got? One, two, three. Got the shock in the middle. Loosen those up. Yes, sir. We back at it. Back at you with another video with the Pull Up King. Uh, got the Long Star 5.7 Hemi 2012 Dodge. Dodge Ram. Working on the control arm. So I'm pretty much just walk through this one. And uh, as I go, I let you know what I did. Uh, this out of tie rod, we got a 22 mil. We gotta get the cotter pin out. This is what I use. And you just tap this. You use my hammer, sludge hammer. Tap that in a few times and knock it loose. With the uh, stabilizer sway bar link, hit that one. It's gonna be a bolt up underneath. Way. Then that's gonna hold this in so it doesn't spin when you loosen up that 18 millimeter bolt. And that's what that bolt looks like. Okay, those two bolts for the shocks. One of them for me, one of them was a 13 mil and the other one was a 10 mil. I don't know why, but maybe I just replaced it with one that was a little bigger. So what I did here, I took the jack, put it up under here, just so I can raise this spindle, cause my tool was too big to get up under there. So I had to jack it up. Got it clear, got a 22 millimeter bolt holding that in. All right, so to get that bottom out, I just put a little pressure on it, put a little block right there, but um, look like we're gonna need to take this out. This upper control arm, knock that out, and then let this hang, the spindle hang, and knock the spindle out. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the brake caliper. And this is what I find out. They don't even have a bolt at the bottom. Interesting. All right, get your C-clamp out. Compress that up, those double pistons. If you don't, you won't be able to get it off. Just swinging it, you have to pry it off. Cause it's got like, on the pads, it's got some type of uh, little notches that hold the, hold it from just sliding off. That's why this bottom, that's why the caliper hasn't just flung off yet. Because of that. Because it's not going anywhere, it's going back and forth. All right, hang that up. So it don't fall, break your line. Um, Take off your pads and remove your ABS line. Alright, so if you can't get in there and get that Allen key, you don't have a long Allen key, then you're gonna have to take off the rotor, take the brake caliper, crack it off. Alright, get it from here. Take that out, move it to the side. Now we're gonna work on this bolt right here. Knock that. So this is the tool we're gonna use to put up in here to get this lower control on the ball joint from out. Hit that with the hammer at the end of it. I'm just tapping the end of that, spraying it down. Letting it sit for a few minutes. And that's the 22 mil. So you just wanna tap this with the uh, sludge hammer, just like we did the tie rod, and it'll pop on out. All right, once that pop out, be careful, it will fall. So be prepared. And we can move that out the way. And that's why I got that block right there. So this spring just won't push it down. 
So we're gonna be able to hit this bolt here, that bolt there. Let's get to it. Alright, once that pop out, be careful, it will fall. So be prepared. Now we can move that out the way. So we're gonna be able to hit this bolt here, that bolt there. Let's get to it. That first bolt, 24. Let's see what we got here. Alright, it's not even threaded. So I was able to pretty much pull it off, pry it off. Thought it was going to use this, but I turned it and it pretty much moved off. All right, you want to tap that, tap it through. Go ahead and get something to push it the rest of the way. Before I knock it all the way out, I'm going to go ahead and jump on this side and do the same thing. And I'm going to lower it down and get this spring up out of here. All right, we got that one all the way out. It's about ready to come out. Go ahead and finish knocking this one out. And then uh, we gotta tap this on out. Basically, we gotta take this one out, that top bolt, and uh, remove the shock. It's gonna come down with it. And we got a 19 mil. that out. And you can see how it comes down. And that's it. I just removed the shock and the strut assembly. Took that apart. And now we're going to go in, man. Reverse order. Get it up how I'ma get it up anyway because uh I'm sure everybody got a way of doing it but this is how I'm gonna do it so I'm looking a little further and I see because I move this around it's a little uh rough moving and that's why we got rust in it got that rust up in there matching up let's get it all right so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna reassemble the strut and the shock put it back in here see I got the control arm sitting on the jack so I can jack it up same way I took it down uh, reassemble the shock let's get it all right just like that boom now we're gonna guide it on up and we're gonna get it back in this uh, position so we can tighten up that shock that way it'll hang and we can start working on those ends oh yeah make sure you put that rubber piece on there all right go ahead and put that on there put the bolt on yeah so this job this jack is your best friend man so we're gonna work that in with the jack and uh, start bolt, putting our bolts through. Okay, so I tried a couple ways before I did it this way. I went from left, I went to right, tried to jack it up. It just kept popping out of one side and popping out the other as I jacked it up. So I went into the middle, went in the middle of the control arm and just raised it up. And I realized that that would slide. Uh, I could see the holes better. And it's not, it wasn't, uh, you know, tilted to where I couldn't get the bolt in. And now I got that one in on that side. Now I'm gonna get this one in, line that one up. All right, so I did move it to the right just so I can get up under here and uh, make that hole visible. Got it in there. And now we're gonna go ahead and put everything else back together. Get that stabilizer link, sway bar link in there. All right, we're back at this point, jacking it up. Got the link in there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put that spindle back on. 
All right, so we got, I put the bottom in first and stuck that in there. I got the bolts in both of them, which is finger tight so I can work with it. Now I can move this around. What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and start hooking up the uh, brake caliper. I put everything together. Tie rods, tighten up the bolts and control arm, both sides. Tighten everything up. Tighten up the lower ball joint. Did everything. This, I'm doing legs. I jacked it up. Now I got, got a little wiggle room. Go ahead and mount those bolts. That'll be it. And that is it.